Yo, what up, how's it going guys, my name is Jordan, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Now today we're going to be taking a look at the Mariners trip to Walsall that will take place on the 31st of August. So we're going to be looking at Walsall, we're going to look at the Danger Men, how they're doing in the league, what we can expect from them, um, my my score prediction and also my starting 11. So if you do go on to enjoy this match preview, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you're new around here. So without further ado, let's get into the preview. Now Walsall relegated from League 1 the previous season, of course their main aim is to get back to League 1. I believe they finished 22nd last year, so at least I finished above Scunthorpe, I'm alright with that. So far this season they're currently sitting 19th after 5 games. They've won 1, they've drawn 2 and they've also lost 2. They've scored 2 goals and they've conceded 5, so looking at it, they've not had the best of starts of season, but when you think about it, they've had a lot of players come in. Uh, over the summer, they must have signed about 15 players, I think. Something like that. So, they have signed a lot of players over the summer. Of course, it's going to take a little bit of time to, to gel together. Um, of course, we're pretty much a month into the season now. So, um, they must be settling in fairly well. But um, we'll, we'll have to see about Walsall. Um, for us, I've always think Walsall to be a decent side. Decent team that plays some nice football. Their manager is Dal Clark. I think town fans will know who he was manager of a few years ago. Yeah. He was he was manager of Bristol Rovers team that beat us at Wembley. I still have nightmares about that game. He's a decent manager and um he, of course he's got the task of um taking Walsall back to League One, which I think where they belong pretty much. Um of course, they've lost a lot of their big players over the summer as well, like like Ferrier, like Cook. And, um, yeah, they've brought in some decent players. Um, Danger Men, I've picked out one, really. Um, his name's um, his, his name's Kaolan Lavery. I um, think he's a decent striker. He's, he's been at a few League 2 clubs. Um, I believe he was, he was at uh, Bury last year, wasn't he? <laughs> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. But I believe he was at Bury last year. And, um... Because he's already picked up two goals in all competitions, I'm guessing. Yeah, two goals in all competitions, um, and just a few other strike, just a few other players as well. Um, of course, Walsall will will be up there, and then he plays like that. Um, Kyle Lavery is a good striker for League Two level. Of course, he will go on to score more goals uh, this year. Um, so let's get into my um, predicted starting eleven. So um, we're going to go four three three as always. Um, in goal, James McEwen. There's just, just no, it's just no doubt, is it? He's he's always going to be in there. He come on, he's our, he's our starting keeper. So James McEwen in goal. Um, back four, we're going to go for uh, Luke Hendry, Luke Waterfall. We're going to go Ludwig Erman and Elliot Hewitt. We're going to go for them in the back. Um, it was good to see Ehrman back on Tuesday, even though we didn't we didn't play the full game because it got postponed. But um, it's good to be back, and I think he'll be partnered up with Waterfall, who was actually cup tied. So I, I didn't know that when I was making my uh, Macclesfield preview. But um, he was actually cup tied. So um, yeah, I think I think those two will play in defence at the weekend. Um, three midfielders we're going to go for Jake Kesson Tyler and Elliot Whitehouse as the two of them. We're going to put Jordan Cook as the attacking midfielder. I think Harry Clifton's picked up a slight knock of what I'm hearing. So, I'm not going to start him. I'm going to put Jordan Cook in. He impressed me so much uh, last week when we played Port Vale in that 5-2 win. And I think he deserves to keep his place after last week. Um, of course, he got a goal and I just thought his all-around play was excellent. So, yeah, I think he deserves to stay in. Um, of course, we've got a front three again. Uh, we're going to go Moses Ogbu on the left, Matt Green on the right, and then James Hansen up front. So, yeah, it's just it's pretty much the same as what we always have, pretty much. Um... Of course, you know how much I love James Hansen at the minute. Um, absolute beast. Three goals, three assists so far this year, and just an absolute powerhouse in the air. I don't think, I don't think anyone's struggle has has managed to like contain him yet. Um, he's he's that brilliant in the air. I saw a stat on um, D three D four. Make sure you go follow him on, on Twitter. Very very good football account. And um, I was looking and saying that James Hansen had like ninety odd headers, and he was like he was top of that. Table for the like most most headers won. Um, it was topped by like 30. I think the second was like 60. So it just proves how much of a powerhouse he is in the air. And um, I I, lo I love the bloke. I think he's a brilliant striker. And he's just the old-fashioned target man. And um, I think he'll 
it'll cause all sorts of problems this weekend. I've got that feeling. So, so there's my starting eleven. Now we're gonna get on to my score prediction. Now before before I do my score prediction, um, I've managed to get another YouTuber on here. Um, Seb or is his YouTube name Super Sapler Seb. Seb. I'll put his link in the description below. So make sure you go subscribe to him. Uh, decent lad. Um, he's just come on just to do like a little preview. What we can expect from Walsall before I give you my score prediction. So um. Yeah, like I said, make sure you go subscribe to him. He's a, he's a decent lad. And, um, yeah, I'm going to hand it over to Seb. So, over to you, mate. Right then, hello, Jordan's channel. Jordan has asked me to do a little preview for the game on Saturday as the Saddlers face Grimsby Town at home. Um, going to be a very tough game, I think. Um, you've just come off a 5-2 win against Port Vale and sitting 7th in the league. On the other hand, we're sitting 19th in the league and haven't won since the opening day of the season against Northampton Town. Um, but I think I'm going to go with a 1-0 Walsall win. I think we'll just nick it. Um, we don't look like we've got a goal scorer at the moment, so I think our midfielder, Liam Kinsella, will score. Um, players you should look out for, um, Liam Kinsella and Stuart Sinclair in the midfield are absolutely brilliant, with James Hardy, who is a creative player. But yeah, um, you've got some good players like James Hansen, and Jordan Cook, so yeah, we'll have to watch out with them. Um, the ex Sadlers player was brilliant for us, so hopefully we can keep him quiet on Saturday. So like I said, I think it'll be a really tight game at the best got. Um, I think we'll just nick it 1-0. So yeah, if you could check out my channel, Super Sadler Seb, I do Warsaw vlogs and I, and I am a Warsaw content creator. So yeah, if you could check me out, that'd be amazing. Also, subscribe to Jordan, um, brilliant channel. So, yeah, up the Saddlers. So, my score prediction now. Um, very, very tough game this weekend. Um, of course, Walsall's not going to be a walk in the park. I mean, no team is. Let's be honest, no team is a walk in the park, especially when they've been dropped down from um, League One last year. But they've not had the, the, the best of starts. Um, we've had a very good start. Um Two wins, two draws, one loss. I think that's a very good start. So, um, of course, we'll be looking to uh, keep the momentum up after we scored five goals against Port Vale last week. So, yeah, um, will we score five goals again this week? No, I don't think we will. But um, let's. Just, I'm going to go for a 2-1 win. I think we'll get the job done um, away at Walsall. Of course, Walsall's not the easiest place to go to uh, for, for teams. I mean, no place is easy to go. But Walsall especially. Um yeah, I'm, I'm going to go for James Hansen and uh, Moses Ogbury to grab the goals for a 2-1 win. Um, of course, I'm expecting a very tough game. Um, it, it could go either way. This game could go either way. Um, but we'll have to see. Um, of course, they'll be looking to bounce back after a 3-0 defeat to Plymouth last week. So, yeah, um, I'm going to go for a 2-1 win. That's the end of the preview, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Um, thank you so much for the continued support on the channel. Um, yeah, just, yeah. Especially on Tuesday where I uh, uh, just recorded uh, a game that was abandoned at halftime. Um, yeah, you guys have just taken that really well. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. My name is Jordan. I'll see you guys in my next video. Now, until then, 